So you guys might be wondering, where the heck in the world am I? Well, I'm actually inside of a beautiful showcase that I wanted to show you guys. Is that uh, it really just popped up in my recommendation. It's called Robloxian States. And you see it has pretty good graphics. And if you're for the creator, you might wonder who, who made this beautiful game. Well, it was actually me. <laughs> this is actually my showcase that I've been working on for quite a long time now. And uh, yeah, that is why I've been, I haven't been active on YouTube that much. So as you guys can see, there, there, this game is really beautiful with the sunlight and everything. Uh, but I do want to say one thing. Don't play on this on a potato PC. I really do say this in I have said this because you see if you play this on a potato PC what will happen is that your game your PC might just crash and you might not be able to use it again. Because you see this game has sun rays effect, uh, color blur effect, uh, depth of field effect, every thing that you can expect in very high graphic games nowadays so yeah so this is a very i have a pretty decent a very beast pc it has a 15 core cpu which is pretty pretty good very good in fact because most cpu only have 12 cores this one has 15 cores and then i have a 8 gb vram in this bad boy which is also pretty very it is actually very very good in because if you want to play modern games you can easily play on this bad boy and there are all this there is also 32 gigabytes of memory in this pc yeah it is a pretty high-end pc so as you guys can see over here this is a very beautiful game i made i made and it took a lot of time especially because of the planes that i'm about to show you first because the planes over there are actually what took the most time to make in this game you see the model and everything and every code and everything programming took a lot of time so yeah, i'm going to show you how you can actually drive this so first you need to click on the door to open it then you can jump inside of it there's literally nothing that i go into first person because it is easier and now just you do this and close the door and just sit on the pilot seat which is this one and now you should be on the front now you click one press one on your keyboard to activate the the plane menu and press e to start the engine now press w to, to throttle and then you will start to go forwards M now follow where i go and when you're at a speed of 150 you will start to rise in the air so yeah i should have made a longer, longer runway but it's fine so as you guys can see now we're approaching 150 and as you guys can see we're not 150 oh my god what the heck oh my god i crashed into a house no way no way no way no way i'm stuck in a tree wow wow wow, wow. so guys i literally just reset in my plane but make sure that you do not do that if you don't have enough mem good enough memory i recommend 8 gb memory to run this game properly but if you have lower than 8 gb or i recommend 8 gb is minimum i actually recommend 16 gb to run this game because if you have any lower than that then please please do not uh, reset in your plane if you're driving if you want your pre cpu to be safe if you want your pc to be safe because if you do that without enough memory then your pc is just going to die like i mean that literally a PC, PC might not just might not make it so yeah let's just hop into one of these other planes that I had to because I had to reset and I don't know why but this is not opening so we're just going to go into this one you can maneuver the plane around you can take turn the plane and do everything you want with, with the mouse if you can mouse you, you can turn your mouse so in every direction it will and it will then uh, maneuver okay so now we're inside of the plane uh, how do I close this hatch because it is really dangerous dangerous okay it's not closing oh my god wow okay well let's just uh, hop in here I don't know why okay so now we're inside of the plane now we're just going to press okay so now we're just going to press W and you guys can see that wherever I'm turning my mouse the plane is going there so yeah you can maneuver around with your mouse now when you reach the speed of 150 when you reach close to 150 speed just put your mouse up like do this up and it will start to rise 
okay so as you guys can see over here my plane is actually rising and now I'm inside of the air two hundred okay so now we are inside of the air and as you guys can see make sure that you stay above the altitude of one one hundred because that's where most of the things are and you don't want to crash so right now we're at the altitude of 500 which is 500. actually pretty good now if you want you to uh, what do you say land then you can just press the S key to decrease the throttle and then that will decrease your speed and now press the and then turn the engine off don't worry now just wait till the speed goes to 150 because that is where you will just land make sure to stay on the air above on, uh, uh, on the area above the air airport because if you crash if you land somewhere else then it will be really bad now as you guys can see we are almost reaching 150 speed which is oh my god why is it lagging okay and we can just turn around and we are just going to land now okay we are reaching and as you guys can see we are below 150 speed 100 and as you guys can see we are now landing on a plane and we are below the speed of 150 which means that we are pretty good and now we just need to reach the the, the now we just need to reach the airport so turn your throttle up a bit and when it reaches 100 just turn your engine off again and it will start to slow down now make, now make your way to the airport now if you start to stop just throttle up uh, turn your engine on and throttle up and when you start when you reach 100 just uh, oh my god okay nothing nothing okay oh my god no 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 don't go into the lake okay oh my god oh my god we are inside of a lake okay okay we can just rise up if we turn on the throttle a bit and yes we are rising up and we can just now turn the engine off and as you guys can see we have finally reached our runway you can just turn the engine on again to just reach the to just come on over here and now we can turn the engine off and as you guys can see it will slowly turn the engine speed to zero and there you go that's how you drive the plane in my game so now you just can just make your way oh you can just make your way out of here and if you can now remember y when you stop driving the plane just reset <coughs> because your mouse just glitches out and it doesn't properly uh, work so yeah now that we've done with the airplane part i'm just going to show you guys mm, the mall the shopping mall in this game now i'm pretty sure that it, 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 this shouldn't be confusing to you i actually didn't make this model I actually bought it from the toolbox in the roblox studio yeah but the planes that I made myself because I wanted them to fly and there are not really many planes on in Roblox Studio that remade models that can actually fly. So yeah, you can just uh, go to the entrance over here, you can use one of the cars and as you guys can see the beautiful graphics over here and you can just go to any shop you want. You can actually, on the second floor there are actually clothes that you can purchase for really cheap Robux. So yeah, let's just make sure, I want to go up, so let's just press the up button. And now the radio comes down. And you are in first person when using the thing. Now let's just go to floor 2. And just wait till it goes to the floor 2. Because you see it is really in the floor And make sure you are in first person. Because if you are in third person, you are going to it out. buy for robux like on in this shop in this shop and in desired and in the arab word uh, i don't know what they okay so oh my god some lag issues yeah there are some lags okay so you can now you can also use the stair part of it as well oh my god what the heck is happening so if you reset if you're driving the plane then this happens and that is why my game is lagging you see you see that disoriented plane well you see remember you remember that i crashed into this tree well i reset and the plane just it is part of the programming the plane if i reset then the plane thinks that, that i crashed and it just automatically destroys it itself for realism so as you guys can see don't go too near it or else you will lag so yeah i'm just going to go away from now i'm going to show you guys the house yeah 
this is the road closed one but don't worry the road is closed but it will soon be open because we are because the game is still in beta form and is it not yet full there i'm going to add a lot of more features like uh, what do we call it? a train station and many other stuff like in the stores and everything now if you look over here they look at these beautiful graphics now if you go inside of the house you will notice even more beautiful graphics as you guys can see over here look at this this is beautiful right and uh, other stuff over here the upper floor there's like bed and there's a bed there's some drawers i think you can open them yep you, it, you can open them but it's pretty laggy you see and then you can also type in the keyboard okay so yeah you can just do this and everything so now and you can also and as you guys can see over here there's pretty pretty there's very 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 pretty pretty lighting over here as you guys can see it has very realistic writing lighting and there's also forest in the background that i didn't show you there's the hospital and school but they are not very interesting just a just a showcase there they don't have any functions in them they're just like a thing you can enter and then come out of they're not very interesting they're boring okay so you know the forest over here actually you can act you have to walk on it because the cars that i have over here they drive on roads but they can't drive on terrain so yeah i'm just going to run all the way over here and i'm going to show you guys and as you guys can see over here we're actually this is actually the path to the forest as you guys can see and look at that beautiful that depth, depth of field oh my god that lag <laughs> sorry guys if the recording is laggy this is actually a pretty performance in performance in test and as you guys can see here this game is actually very performance intensive the better pc you have the more you will get performance the less because you see this game does not i have made it so that it does not spare anything that is oh my god yeah this is actually pretty intensive area of forest because there's a lot of vegetation around yeah that usually happens in games you see the more the area is covered by things the more the lag is yeah even, so as you guys can see over here this beautiful oh wow that beautiful sunset oh my god that literally looks so good so as you guys can see once you exit the forest you are going to notice a lot of a, a lot less a lag and there are some cottages over here they are all the same they don't have anything special as you guys can see over here you can just climb and go into them they are pretty nice for showcasing the rays of the sun pass through here but they are really special so yeah guys this is actually my showcase over here and if you guys liked it make sure to comment down below i will also have the link in the description so that you guys can also play this i have worked really hard so please like this game and also like the video and i will see you guys next time bye